The result of the constitutional referendum in Italy reveal uh, that Italian capitalism is in a deep crisis. This is connected with the general crisis of capitalism all over Europe and the rest of the world. Uh, but they are unexpected. Uh, the degree uh, of uh, the, the no vote, uh, the level of the no vote, uh, about 60% voting no, with a big participation in the vote. 70% uh, of uh, those who had the right to vote participated in, uh, in the ballots. Um, and uh, it is uh, unexpectedly uh, bad for, for Renzi, who resigned immediately afterwards. Renzi didn't even wait for, for the final results before announcing his resignations. Uh, he went on TV uh, just one hour before the ballots were closed. Uh, and uh, this is a blow for stability in Italy. It, is, uh, uh, it opens up a prolonged uh, institutional crisis because uh, the main problem they're facing now is that there is no uh, possible government alternatively to the one, the present one, which is based on the PD majority, the Democratic Party majority, Renzi's party. Uh, is, uh, 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 is an absolute majority. They cannot form another government without the, the participation of the PD. And uh, it, the most likely scenario is that, uh, well, uh, the President of the Republic has uh, refused uh, or has asked Renzi to stay in, uh, in office for another week uh, in order to pass the budget law. Uh, a provisional budget would be a very, very big problem for, for, for the accounts, uh, for the financial stability of the country and also would have uh, general uh, negative effects on the, on the financing of the debt. Public debt has soared to the uh, maximum level, uh, in the record level in, the, in Italian history with 137% uh, debt over GDP ratio. Uh, it is uh, in spite of uh, decades of austerity and cuts, um, uh, the government has uh, passed the bill of the capitalist crisis on, onto the workers' shoulder and the petty bourgeoisie. And uh, like in, any, in uh, many other European countries, uh, this uh, uh, has been done consistently over the past uh, two decades and, and especially over the past seven, eight years. But this has not had the effect of stabilizing the situation, it's just had the effect of undermining the support for, uh, for uh, the, the state institution, parliament, uh, the whole political uh, party system is, uh, is in crisis. And uh, uh, the anger that is revealed uh, behind this vote is uh, is showing that uh, the Italian people, the Italian working class, even layers of the petty bourgeoisie, uh, found uh, in this referendum uh, a catalyst uh, through which to express the rejection of the existing uh, situation, the rejection of the establishment. In this sense, it's a very similar process uh, to that that we saw in Britain uh, with Brexit or uh, in, uh, in uh, the United States with, uh, with the rise of Sanders and, and then the vote uh, and the victory of Trump. Uh, the establishment uh, is uh, worried because they cannot, uh, they cannot control the situation. And, and now uh, what we are witnessing is, uh, is that uh, uh, Italy is on the verge of uh, even worse crisis. Uh, with their banking system, which is uh, in, uh, in uh, very bad waters, uh, the level of uh, bad loans, uh, non-performing loans is rising constantly and has been rising uh, in connection with, um, uh, with the crisis, general crisis in the economy. Uh, families are defaulting on their mortgages. Uh, small companies are, are closing uh, down. Uh, there was a bloodbath at the beginning of the crisis in 2008 with 26% of the manufacturing being uh, destroyed in one year. Uh, the situation is stabilized, but uh, the hangovers uh, of the crisis, which has not, never been resolved, uh, are uh, dragging now the rest of the, of the um, financial institutions, the banks, into, into a very difficult situation. There is already 
Monte de Pasque di Siena, uh, which is uh, one the, the oldest bank in the world, I believe, uh, which is technically bankrupt, uh, and uh, other giant banking uh, groups like uh, Unicredit or uh, Banca Intesa are uh, uh, seeing their, their le level of bad loans uh, reaching uh, record levels, about 16 to 20 percent of uh, the total their total assets. Uh, the banking crisis is one of the things that can uh, uh, be made worse by, by these events because of course uh, the, uh, Monday just after Renzi's res resignations and uh, re the result uh, were announced. Uh, it was a very uh, bad uh, day for, for, uh, for the uh, for, for all the banking shares uh, on, uh, on the markets in Italy and internationally. Um, the absence of a government, of a rival uh, government, uh, will uh, make it more difficult for any institution in Italy to intervene. And what is needed is, uh, is clearly, uh, from a capitalist point of view, a bailout of Italian banks, uh, and they don't have the resources to, to carry it out in a successful way. Uh, they they, there is also a conflict with the European Union uh, and uh, in, uh, in relation to the, to the uh, possibility of a government to intervene and bail out uh, their own banks. Uh, but um, it is not, uh, basically it's not possible, possible to resolve this uh, crisis without having um, a strong government in the country. The referendum was about uh, giving more power to the executive uh, and uh, uh, closing down uh, the second branch of uh, parliament or basically to redesign it in a way that uh, the Senate, uh, which is a, an elected body in the, in the Italian political system, to redesign it in a way that uh, would uh, function uh, as a counterbalance to, to the other branch of the parliament, uh, the camera, um, but with less powers and without having a, a, a perfect bicameral system as, as it is now. In short, it was a reform uh, uh, which uh, would change the constitution in many points, but uh, with the effect of giving to any government with uh, uh, not an absolute majority in the polls, but a relative majority, coalition government, uh, the power to, uh, to rule uh, more directly and impose uh, legislation through, uh, through Parliament uh, in, a, in a much more effective way. Uh, most uh, people voted uh, no in this referendum because of uh, the pent-up anger that has been built in uh, Italian society because of the policies of, the, of this government and the previous governments uh, because of the worsening uh, of uh, the living conditions of the majority, 97% uh, of Italian families have seen their income stagnating or declining over the past eight years. And uh, the economy has been in a recession throughout uh, the last eight years with very, very short spells of uh, stagnation or very short spells of uh, 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 slow, very slow growth and uh, it's back to the levels of 1999. The GDP, uh, Italian GDP is back to the levels of 1999. Italy is in Europe uh, definitely the country with the worst performance from an economic point of view, um, uh, apart from Greece. It's, it's the worst one apart from Greece. So it's a, a very important economy in the balance of uh, the European Union. Uh, with important problems uh, uh, and a lack of growth, uh, in an exploding public debt, the banking crisis uh, which is uh, looming and preparing uh, for, for a real explosion, and, uh, and uh, a political system which is discredited and uh, uh, cannot face the mountain uh, mass uh, resentment and discontent which is trying to find a way out and a way, an outlet to express itself. This referendum was just one of them, uh, but uh, there will be more in, uh, in, the, nec in the coming uh, months. It's not excluded that uh, uh, mobilizations will, uh, will explode as well, uh, because so far most of the people were uh, looking for 
uh, the political uh, scene to, to try to force through some kind of change. Um, and uh, if there are early elections, which is uh, likely, uh, although uh, they're trying to postpone them and to trying to avoid, but the situation is, uh, is going to be probably untenable, they will have to go to uh, early elections. And if these elections are held, uh, or when these elections are held, it is very likely that uh, the uh, massive discontent will uh, try to express uh, through, uh, through uh, anti-establishment parties. Uh, like the Five Stars movement of uh, Beppe Grillo, who was an important uh, part of the of the campaign against uh, Renzi in this referendum, uh, and uh, who uh, have won uh, two important cities, Turin and uh, Rome, in the last elections. The Five Stars movement is a populist outfit. Uh, they have uh, an anti-establishment rhetoric, uh, anti-European Union rhetoric, in some cases even uh, with uh, um, uh, racist uh, uh, policies, uh, but at the same time they're seen by, by the vast majority who are supporting Grillo as uh, the anti-establishment party and, and uh, around the Five Star Movement uh, has coalesced uh, this type of mood so far. Of course, if they are uh, 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 pushed into, into, into office uh, uh, in, uh, in a future election, uh, they have uh, little choice than to carry on with the policies of the, of the present government, uh, which are policies of austerity. Renzi's record, he's been uh, bragging about it in uh, his resignation, which sounds pretty much like an election speech uh, uh, at the same time, um, is uh, one of, uh, of counter-reforms. Uh, the big counter reforms and attacks against the con living conditions of the working class um, by, uh, uh, by uh, reducing uh, uh, trade union rights, for example, by attacking national bargaining uh, um, uh, contracts, uh, which are a, a big part of Italian uh, uh, labor laws. Uh, and by reforming the labor law, introducing an extreme degree of fle flexibilization and casualization of, uh, of work, uh, and uh, the reform, the counter reform of the school were the most controversial ones, uh, with uh, big mobilization on parts of the students and, and workers against, uh, against these measures. Uh, they've been passed uh, and, uh, and uh, now they're part of, uh, of uh, Italian reality, but they haven't solved any of the problems of, uh, of the Italian ruling class. All in all, I think uh, we can say that uh, this is just the first step of an ongoing crisis, uh, which, was, uh, uh, which has started in, to, uh, in this acute form in 2008, but has taken several years in order to, to achieve uh, the magnitude uh, uh, that we're seeing now. This is shaking the whole establishment and is creating the conditions for the eruption of, uh, um, um, uh, of the class struggle on a much, much higher level than, uh, than in the past. The traditions of the Italian working class are not uh, one of, uh, uh, are not traditions of uh, just uh, accepting uh, uh, attacks without fighting back. There is a big uh, obstacle on the way of, uh, of the youth and the working class, which is uh, represented by uh, two elements. One is the trade union leadership, which has been uh, uh, constantly uh, dampening uh, and, and preventing um, uh, struggles from, from developing and generalizing over the past few years by signing uh, all sorts of deals with the government and in spite of the government's uh, extremely ne negative attitude uh, towards the trade union. And on the other hand, uh, the main obstacle for this is uh, the fact that in, uh, in the Italian political uh, scene uh, there is no left, uh, there is no left wing, uh, the left wing is not represented anymore. Uh, whatever was on the left has collapsed or has been transformed into um, into safe, uh, pro-bourgeois, pro-capitalist uh, uh, parties like the Democratic Party. Um, uh, the, the tradition of the communist movement in Italy are very strong, uh, have been uh, uh, strong for, for decades, but now there is nothing uh, left in, in uh, organizational uh, terms, nothing left of that tradition that can, uh, can become the catalyst for, for, uh, for uh, um, 
um, for an alternative to, to the present system. So uh, uh, all this crisis will uh, have to reflect inevitably at some point in uh, some uh, in a, in a left wing emerging uh, again. Uh, but at the moment there is no such uh, vehicle for, for uh, to catalyze this type of uh, mood and uh, the anti-system, anti-establishment, anti-austerity uh, mood prevailing amongst the youth and the worker are, uh, workers are, uh, have been catalyzed around this Five Star Movement. Uh, I think that uh, the involvement of the Five Stars Movement in, uh, in a future government possibly not alone, but in a coalition with someone else, will uh, play a role of teaching a lesson uh, uh, about um, uh, the viability of such an alternative, because it's not enough just to say no uh, to certain things, but it is also necessary to provide an alternative to the capitalist system. And uh, Grillo and, and the Five Stars movement don't have uh, an alternative uh, to, uh, to provide to the system they cannot provide any alternative to the system. So it's an open crisis, it will take uh, a, a long uh, period of time to, to develop and uh, uh, there is one absent actor uh, so far which is uh, the working class itself mobilizing and uh, challenging uh, the system which I believe uh, is uh, 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 it's uh, likely to to I mean the class struggle is likely to explode explode over the uh, the next period.